All right, so before we go to step C, you need to be absolutely certain you've finished all parts of step A and B. Do not start anything with step C until steps A and B are complete. If that means you hit the pause button, reach out to me, and we Zoom conference, whatever else, to make sure, have me take a look at it to make sure you're on the right track, I'll happily do that because every step you complete successfully gets you more confident and competent for the next step. So if step A and B are totally done, all set and ready to go, then we're going to go on to step C. For this, you're going to select and add numbering, and then you're going to indent. You're going to make it start looking like an outline. The great thing about doing this digitally is so much of it will be done for you, but again, it's kind of like a calculator. And if you type the wrong thing in the calculator, hit the wrong button at the wrong time, you can't blame the calculator for giving you an incorrect answer. So for you at this step, see your same copy of the your turn. We're going to use the same copy throughout. So you'll just keep making changes to it. That's why it's so important that you finish every step successfully. If we were in classroom right now, you would have somebody else sitting next to you take a look at that step to say, yep, you've done step A. Yep, you've done step B before you actually go on to the next part. For you right now, on that same copy, you're going to first select all the text. You can use your cursor to go ahead and highlight it, all the headings and information, and the tools bar. And again, because mine's zoomed in, it doesn't show right away. Tools bar, click on the drop down arrow next to the numbered list icon. So here, mine's here. There's the numbered list, the drop down arrow. And it says you're going to choose the bottom middle option. That's the one with the Roman numeral 1, capital A, capital B, and then number 1, followed by Roman numeral 2. We're going to click on that one, and that's going to get us in the right place. So if we go to the example, here's what it looks like. We go ahead and select the heading and all the information in that section. In the tools bar, I'm going to go ahead, drop down, and I'm going to choose that section. Now, everything in there it all has Roman numerals. It's okay if you're not super confident Roman numerals, as long as you have things selected in the correct way and if in the order you want it to be, the numbers will be correct because it's doing it for you. Going back to the directions, it says, on each number line that has no words on it, use the backspace key to delete the unnecessary number. So if, for example, if I had a number here on this first line, this blank line between sections, I hit the backspace key and it would get rid of it. I'm kind of, I kind of like having the extra line there between them so it doesn't run too many things together. I can take out the line, but I definitely don't want the number on there because it'll change my count. So with that, I go back to the directions and I use the tab key to indent each piece of information. When you're finished, the section headings should begin each with a Roman numeral, while the information should begin with capital letters. So for example, this is a heading, it's Roman numeral, it's fine. But each of these, the information here, I want to tab it over. So my tab key, one time, and I repeat that for each one in that set. So I have a, so a Roman numeral for the heading and capital letters for each of the pieces of information. And now I have to start having the levels in my document. Now, if we get this part here, we see that the numbering is off because I had copied it before. So I'm just going to do some quick editing to it. If you select the whole thing with yours, what you should have is a Roman numeral 1 and then Roman numeral 2 for the next section. And you tab over the A and B and C. And it looks like my, head, my formatting is off a little bit because I selected part of it. So I can go ahead and fix that if I want to. Or I can leave it right where it is. I'm going to go ahead and make my edits like I just did before, to make sure everything's right where I want it to be. And we'll get this worked out. So you go ahead with yours, select all of it. Get the correct numbering. And then use the tab key. If you do the wrong one by mistake, let's say you go too far over. If you do shift and tab, it can move it left back toward a higher number, a higher level toward the left. If you tab, it'll move it over to the right. So go ahead and make sure your whole set, all the information, all of it has a Roman numeral for the headings and capital letters for each piece of information. 